Long we'll be uh, taking some mustard greens, picking them and uh, sauteing them with some onion and radishes and uh, maybe have some pork chops and sweet potatoes, cornbread and sweet tea and onion. Alright, good morning y'all. Going out here. We gotta check on these chickens this morning. Good morning, Buttercup. Buttercup's a rooster. We thought we had all hens and uh, he was on the rooster. So they, uh, they all doing good. Just gotta get them some feed here. And here's this hen right in here. She's one of the older ones. She don't, she don't lay anymore. Right up there, she's fixing to start laying, getting ready to lay. Alright. Alright, All y'all. Y'all have a good day. I'll come back probably about 12, 1 o'clock day. Check on y'all. Make sure you got plenty of water and there she goes right there. She's getting up there, getting ready. Alright. Let me go back here and show you all this punt here. Show you how low the water level is. Tell you we're in a I guess yeah we are, we're in a drought. They say we are, so it appears to be. Uh, we haven't got no rain in a long time. And uh, you can tell just right there looking how low the pond is. And uh, I didn't tell y'all, we uh, I put 200 catfish back in late May in here, I think. And uh, they are really small. The catfish were, um, I'm going to say, eight, they remind me of manners almost. They're so small. They was like two inches long. And uh, fed them you know every day and i haven't seen them all summer long <clears throat> so i called them told them you know that this like like maybe a, uh two three weeks ago well i called them several times during the you know summer too and that and give them the updates never did see them fish they never did come up and eat and uh, they never did die to float i don't know really what happened to them they say they probably still in there they probably eating stuff off the bottom i don't know about all that but Anyway, they gave me 200 more catfish a couple weeks ago, and I put them in, and uh, they, they was like four to five inch catfish, and I've been seeing those whenever I feed them. I uh, haven't seen all of them, obviously, but uh, I have a few big catfish in there. I hope that, you know, the bigger catfish hasn't been, you know, feeding on the little small catfish that's put in there first time, but uh, something had to happen to them, because, you know, you think by, you know, four or five, you know, months, you know, the catfish be coming up from the uh, bottom and feeding sometimes but um, these new ones I put in there they, they started feeding so just wanted to uh, if anybody got any kind of uh, experience with that never had that happen for little small catfishes so uh, leave me a comment below let me know because uh, I've never experienced that before all the catfish I ever put in here you know they start feeding like the ones I just put in here they start feeding right you know the first afternoon so uh, Meanwhile, I was going to show y'all that there, and uh, we're going to take a walk. Uh, let me see. We had a kid had a swimming pool right here, and uh, just got through taking that down. Right back here, that's my firewood 
pile for this year. Got some of it covered up and let some of it dry out there. This year it's been sitting here for a while and just had it so tarp so I throw across it. But, you know, we got plenty of wood. We don't burn maybe by a cord to a cord and half at the very most. And uh, so what I got here, I got some more uh, wood I got to cut. My brother, he got some more trees he wants to uh, me to cut. So that's just a, a oak right there. And then we have some, some people call it, uh, well, it depends what, like hackberry or sugarberry tree. That's what that is. I say, got some of this old uh, oak right here. Got to get split up. And then I had some, uh, we had a, uh, <coughs> walnut tree to uh, come down the wind came through and blew it down and uh, the scrap pieces and stuff I, I know I won't never use it I just turned that in some uh, firewood then just got some more oak right here so. let me just show y'all some this walnut tree um, y'all see right there how nice and what I did I I just took some uh, can't remember what it was I think some latex sealer and uh, some, some old stuff I had in a can and I just sealed the ends to keep that uh, moisture in the logs to keep them cracking and uh, splitting out on me so I'm gonna get ready to do some wood projects. I got a, uh, show you back here. We got plenty of uh, walnut right there to work with. And then uh, here's this uh, sycamore that uh, I probably turned out into firewood because y'all can tell my brother brought that down to me. And uh, lots of split so bad. I'm um, not gonna be doing kind of bowl turning with that. Um, just split so bad. I did try to do one bowl and I got down and it, it split out on me really bad and uh we anyway, got some pecan here and cedar and back here and i got some old pine back in here that i'm gonna probably just split up use for some kindling uh, i don't think i'm gonna do much with that but i just want to show y'all and here's here y'all uh two uh let me see what was it i think white oak that the centers was hollow i just kind of kept them there saying, you know i need to do something with that one these days but i ain't, ain't figured out exactly what to do uh, with that i thought about i could plant something in it you know like a little flower plant or something like that uh, then right here i got all these pine logs right here i gotta get it milled up and uh like say I'm, I'm behind on stuff i just i was gonna focus on certain things and let other things go but um what i want to do with this i want to get some uh, six by six four four posts out of these here so uh some my intentions is with that and uh, kind of just walking around showing y'all i think i showed y'all my little addition there i did a video on that and somebody might not have seen it but anyway just built that little addition right there um but uh i'm gonna walk down here look it down there I'm walk down here and Show them up. Show y'all in the garden there. So planted, uh, planted some uh, radishes right out in here, and some turnip greens, seven top and purple top, and uh, they're a little spindly looking. So I don't know. We'll wait and see. You know how that turns out. And over here, like I say, it stays a little wetter over here in this corner, but uh, it's just been dry, so I ain't really worry about the wetness right now but uh, right here we have some uh, I think it's kind of mixing here we got some mustard greens 
in the young season peas that shot back up right in here we had them earlier this spring planted but uh got some mustard greens right out yonder going there and what i'm going to be doing here about two days now i've been putting some water on them so i'm just going to take this uh sprinkle off here move it down this other t-post So the weather's here has been, you know, a lot cooler than it was early this summer. It's still hot. Uh, gets up in the upper 80s and lower 90s sometimes during the day. But uh, that's a lot better than 100 something degrees. But uh, it's starting, starting to feel a little bit more like fall, especially in the morning time. In the evening time, you know, it's been warmed up pretty good. But, um, let's see here. I can get this set because I won't have to come back. I don't want to come back down here. I'm going to turn this on here. Alright, that should have that. I don't like uh, water and. Uh, yeah, well, I tell you what, while I'm down here, yeah, that's that well right there I started working on, and uh, it's literally been a couple years, and I said I'm gonna get back at it, but it, it'd be nice to be able to get that finished there uh, one of these days, and uh, I kind of stopped because I got a little discouraged, didn't know how far I was gonna have to go, and still don't be honest with you, you know, sometimes you start stuff and just hope that you don't have to go, you know, terribly far, but it got pretty tough when I got done about 70 something feet. So I'm getting tough, but that's not to say it can't be done. I, I believe it can be done. You just gotta be willing to do it. But um, anyway, that's where I had that well right there started. But, uh, <clears throat> all right. Just taking y'all around the world this morning. I don't, don't do videos like this, but. Excuse me if I'm holding the camera down on the ground a lot of times. It's, I'm not, I'm not used to walking around with a camera in my hand lately. I'll just be honest with you. So I'll leave that on probably 30 minutes or so, just so I have a good time. You no, know, so can't for the sun comes up here. And, uh, see. Uh, there's my. I'm gonna show y'all the uh, leather shop here since it's been done. The outside of it. And what I did right here, y'all, I added uh, a little light right up there at night time. I got a light right here. I can cut on, but when I walk out here or leaving, I'm gonna lock everything up. Have a little solar power light that cuts on. That helps out a lot. Helps me see, you know, when I'm stepping off the porch there. But anyway, y'all, just wanted to uh, give y'all a little walk around this morning. It's been a while since I've been doing some YouTube videos, so y'all, I'm probably a little bit rusty at it. But I plan on doing, start trying to do a little bit more videos. Uh, it just uh, I've been so focused on getting some stuff done, working, leather work, different things. I just the video just been in the, in the back of my mind. To be honest with you, and I said, well, then a lot of times I could have took my camera out, you know, did some videos of you know me doing whatever, you know, cutting the firewood, splitting firewood, um, just different things. Um, I just got through doing a um, wiring a. Um, electric uh, weather head and all that for my brother for his uh, shed and uh, i thought well you know i could show y'all that and you know it's not a real you know complicated process very simple but you know i'm just so focused on getting stuff done and getting back at what i need to do uh, i didn't like didn't cover any of that kind of stuff but 
anyway y'all uh, hope y'all had a good start in the morning and if you've seen this any other time i hope you're having a great day and i appreciate y'all coming along and um, like I said, i'm gonna get started here go out there and get my keys back to my house there and uh, if i had my pocket i'd walk you in there but i gotta do you know, get started on some leather work this morning uh, i gotta make a key ring for my brother and um then I gotta get started back on some uh, knife sheaths, and uh, I got me. Uh, eventually, I gotta make several uh, gun holsters. So I got different things getting lined up for me, you know. And then I'm gonna be making some new, um, trying some new stuff, you know. And uh, that's always the interesting thing about leather, y'all. Yeah, it, it it don't only look good, and it's not only. Um, tough as nails I guess you can say you know it lasts you a long time it's, it's a lot that can be made with leather you know you just kind of start thinking about you know things you like to have or maybe somebody else would you know like you know it's all different you know things you can do with leather and I guess that's what uh, interests me about it you know just taking a piece of leather and turning it into something very useful you know you can go to Walmart and some of these uh, retail stores if you find something that's made out of either subpar uh, material or it, it doesn't meet your qualification, you know, or expectation of what something should be, and um, you just kind of got to make do with it. But when you make it yourself, y'all, you know, it's just, just a completely different accomplishment you get from it. And that's what I like about it. And uh, so I just want to... Uh, I say the main reason this video is just to give you a little walk around here. It's been a while since I kind of showed you around here. Uh, Alright, so. And I can tell already just in two days I've been watering on it, y'all. It's, it's looking a lot better. It's starting to get a lot greener. So that's what we're looking for. It won't be long. We'll be uh, taking some mustard greens, picking them, and uh, sauteing them with some onion and radishes, and uh, maybe have some pork chops. and Sweet potatoes, cornbread, and sweet tea, and onion. I always love this time of year because I always, I always eat it the same way. I always like smothering them in like hot, hot lard or bacon grease. Or, you know, most of them had to use it in bacon grease. But um, um, I'll be showing like, especially like y'all, I like showing y'all like a special like repair video, so I'm gonna say working on something. And I think it could help, you know, help somebody out, especially with vehicles and stuff like that. You know, I like trying to do those videos just because uh, you always, you know, something's always going to be breaking. Something's always going to need to be fixed. And if you don't know how to do it, you can have somebody kind of walk you through it. And that's always a you know, positive thing. And a lot of times you can do it, you know, you just need a little nudge in the right direction, you know. And I'm the same way, you know. I, I don't know how to do something in particular. I like getting on YouTube. I like looking around, learning new things. So I tell you, you can always learn things from people on YouTube. There's so many talented people on YouTube that, uh, that you know, they're good enough to share, you know, what they do with uh, different things and how to do stuff. And so, you know, like I said, my expertise, you know, in a lot of ways was the vehicles. And I've always been hands-on pretty much anything I do, but, um, I enjoy sharing, helping people out, you know, and uh, so I'm gonna try to make you know some more videos and stuff of, of that as it comes along, you know. Uh, right now, on my red truck right here, it's been sitting there for I don't know, probably <clears throat> I'll get well. I know for a fact it's been over a month and a half now, going on two months. Uh, it runs and everything, y'all, but the computer on it. It's, it's got it when when it gets hot it heats up and it just kills the truck and you gotta let it sit about a couple minutes it'll crank back up and uh so uh i've been waiting on a computer for that truck they sent it to me and it it wasn't no good it flagged seven codes as soon as i installed it and i'm having problems with that and i'll make a video a little later on of that issue i've been having uh, with that and when I get it all, you know, figured out, and so I'm not going to talk much about it right now, but it's just the ongoing process, let me put it that way. But uh, anyway, y'all, appreciate y'all coming along, appreciate y'all watching the videos, 
and uh, like I say, if y'all uh, got any comments or anything, leave them comments down below. I appreciate it. Uh, I always like reading the comments and stuff. You know, as I do, you no know, videos, uh, any kind of suggestions, or anything like that. Uh, I always appreciate, you know, y'all leaving y'all's comments and suggestions. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this video off now, and I gotta get re get ready and go to work, y'all. It's like a job, so I get started. Um, I, got, I know I <clears throat> I know made some key rings now for like two days, and I gotta make one more. Uh, for somebody and um, then I'm going to get started back on my uh, knife sheath and um, after the year is over with I'm going to start uh, doing some different uh, leather work and stuff so I'll bring y'all along for that but I appreciate y'all watching and as always friends my family years y'all have a blessed day we'll see you later bye bye